In this video, we'll learn how to create a circular progress bar using SVG. To start with, let's create a SVG with a width and height of 250 pixels. Let's add a circle with a radius of 100 pixels. And CX and CY is the midpoint of the circle. This value can be in pixels or in percentage. The circle's midpoint would be at 125 pixels from left and 125 pixels from top of the screen. Let's give this circle a class name called track. Which would have a border of light gray. Let's take out the black fill color. Create another circle to show the progress and let's give it a class name called progress. Let's give it a border of black color, and the thickness of 10 pixels. Stroke dash array creates a dashed line along the circumference of the circle. Since value is 20, it creates a line of 20 pixels and a gap of 20 pixels until it completes the entire length of the circle. As we increase this value, the stroke length on the circumference keeps increasing. At the same time, an equal sized gap is also created. Let's further increase the values to 200, 500, and 630 and see how it looks. At this point in time, we have a stroke which is 630 pixels in length, which covers the full circle and also a gap of same length, which is not visible. There's also another CSS property called stroke-offset, which helps us in revealing the gap. And by setting appropriate stroke-offset value, we can show the progress. In a nutshell, Lower the stroke dash offset value, higher the progress. Which means, if offset is 630, then progress is 0%. And if offset is 0, then progress is 100%. Let's write a quick JavaScript code to make the progress dynamic, which shows the progress from 0% to 100%. Let's now target the progress class and pull its radius value, which is 100. Let's calculate the circumference using the radius value, which would give us the precise length of the circle's border or stroke and assign it to stroke dash array of the circle. And take out the dash array and offset from progress class. Let's set the progress between a scale of 0 and 100%, using a small function like so. In this function, we are setting the stroke dash offset by negating part of the circumference from its total length by converting the circumference value in percentage. With this, we can now set the circular progress bar's value dynamically, like so. If we look at the progress, it starts at 0 degree, right here, and moves downward. If you want the progress to start from the top, then just rotate the progress circle by 270 degree or minus 90 degree and set the transform origin to center.
Thanks for watching. Like share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. See you in the next one. Cheers.